I like All that right. shot. Okay. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're here with filmmaker and producer Datari Turner, most notably the creator of Growing Up Hip Hop, the Growing Up Hip Hop franchise. He's joined us at the table to talk a little bit more about reality TV. But before we get into that, yes. it's all about Selena Johnson right now. Well, I had wanted to know <laughs> <laughs> about this new movie that you produced called yeah. A Boy, A Girl, and A Dream. Uh -huh. What was the inspiration behind this movie? I mean, the title alone is already intriguing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I had read an article in the Washington Post that said that 13%, only 13% of people in the entire world love what they do. Mm, and that really God. struck a chord That's with deep. me because I feel like so many people come to Atlanta and LA and, you know, with a dream. And if it doesn't happen in the time that, you yeah. know, they thought it was going to happen, real life sets in. They yeah. maybe have to get a job or maybe they meet somebody and get married and have kids mm -hmm. and then you wake up three years later and you're on a hamster yeah. wheel. Yeah. You sort of let your dreams fall by the wayside. So, um, you know, I, I thought it would be a great idea to sort of, you know, so we, we've always wanted to, you know, do a love story. I think that was something that we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought this was a sort of a good way into telling it. A love story. Good, mm -hmm. good, good, yeah. good. And we shot the whole film in one take, too. Oh, oh wow. wow. One, Wait, one continuous take without Wait a no minute. Cuts. How did that, how yeah. Tell us how that, how that went, how long that took, and, and the process behind that. So we actually shot the entire movie nine times. And then we had to stop a couple of times. We would get halfway through. Somebody would yell, you're making good on the street. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had to start it all over again. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, the great thing about being an independent filmmaker is you get to experiment. You get yeah. to try a lot of different things. I was things. just going to say, what was the intention? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no rules. Yeah, shout out to the writer-director, Kasim Bazour. He's super talented writer-director. And we have been circling for a long time. Ava DuVernay introduced us maybe mm. six years ago okay. at Sundance. Okay. And uh, yeah, the film has had a lot of critical success. It oh, premiered well, at Sundance. and. Uh, for a long time, we had 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, um, so, you know, it's, it's critically, you know, yeah. acclaimed. acclaimed. I, love okay. I love the fact that you're all over the place, obviously, yeah. film and reality television. So let's delve a little bit deeper into reality television. Why do you think it has become so popular? You go back to the real world, and now we have a plethora of shows. Any channel, mm -hmm. they have, you know, so many uh, reality TV shows. Why has it become so popular? Is it because of the drama? People just want to feel like they can connect. I think it's cheaper to produce. Cheaper. I mean, oh, you think about, that, 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 you think there's about no Game involved. of Thrones is what uh, seven million an episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Empire, I think, is like four million an episode. Uh, so, uh, episode. So, That's ridiculous! So, wow. So it's just cheaper to it's cheaper to produce, and it's the new soap opera. You yes. know, mm -hmm. all our parents grew up on the General Hospitals and yeah. the One Life to Live, all, all of these things. And so, I think for me, my mission statement in terms of creating content has always been. And I want to, you know, showcase my people in the right way. Great. So growing up hip hop, it started. I created a show called The Ultimate Hustler maybe 13 years ago for mm -hmm. BET with that. Dame and Dash. I remember that. I remember and I remember that. Dame always talked about. He said that when him and Jay started Rockefeller, mm -hmm. they named it after this dynasty mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. because they didn't really know a lot of black prominent mm -hmm. families yeah, that yeah. had generational wealth. Mm -hmm. And that really struck a chord with me. And I think now through hip hop. You look at, you know, what Jay and B are yeah. now yeah. having kids mm -hmm. and Russell and Kamora had kids and, you know, all of these prominent, you know, families, Master P and Romeo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was, you know, my parents always stressed legacy growing up. And mm -hmm. so that's really like the, the, the makeup behind the show. It's just to, now you hip hop <coughs> has created generational wealth. Yeah. Had kids and some of their kids are having kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that that is it's about legacy. It's about black excellence, and uh, hopefully one day maybe some white family will name their record label after the car. Right, 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 right. That's the goal of it. That's let, let me ask you a question. In your personal opinion, do you think reality television as a whole yes. stereotypes and perpetuates black women as being angry all the time? I Morgan, actually, please keep it I, I actually do. I do. I do. I, I know for me, I've always tried to do things positive. I mean, I did a show. I married a baller many years ago mm -hmm. with Taj that and Eddie so George. Good. You know, that actually showed an uh, athlete couple married that mm -hmm. had a great relationship. And you've been working, um, and, man. And, 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 you know, so, so I know all I can be responsible is for the images that I put out there, yeah. the things that I get behind. But I do agree that it, it does you know, have a ne negative stereotype on. Do you on think people want to see that? Why do you think that, that that agenda is pushed? Well, we're in the we're in the celebrity generation. You know, this is the social media celebrity generation. 
all the blogs, everything sort of plays up the salaciousness of something. If you even think about it, like what, like People Magazine and Us Weekly, mm -hmm. it's no longer the A-list movie stars on the cover, mm -hmm. it's reality stars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just think that people like the juiciness of stuff and, um, you know, social media is sort of like, in, in blogs sort of, per, per, you know, they play a hand in perpetual. You know, perpetuating yeah. those, mm -hmm. those negative stereotypes. Now, Detari, I know that you, you know, I, I love how you say that you are in control of making sure that your content is, um, you know, is, is good content. How do you think, or what would be your opinion with how we can get, well, how you can get other people in the industry to incorporate more diversity as far as um, entertainment is concerned? I mean, just because you're black doesn't mean that's the only way, you know, mm -hmm. you can have more black people and stuff. Right. So what would be your opinion oh, well, as I far think, as that's Well, it's interesting. That's an interesting question. I mean, I feel like for a hundred years, white men told our stories. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just imagine if they only, people only told the three worst things about you, but never the hundred great things. Mm -hmm. So they painted us as dangerous, as criminals, as, as slaves, as, as, as yeah. slaves and murders. Mm -hmm. And really just in the last 20 years, we've been able to tell our own stories. Mm -hmm. And now you get to see us as well-rounded people. I mean, a show like Insecure, for example. Yes. Yes. You know, like now it can just be about what a woman's life is like on a Tuesday. Yeah. You know, it don't have to be about our pain or, yeah. you know, we don't have to be the greatest person that did the most amazing thing on the mm -hmm. planet to get a story. And I, I do think we're making a lot of strides. I think it's a great time to be African American in our yeah, business. It's yeah. a great time to be a woman in our business. I yeah. love the one so. movie you did that um, kind of touched on suicide in the entertainment business with Nate Parker. I really like that movie as well. Mm -hmm. um, it was the movie. It came oh, Birth of a Nation. Yeah. I didn't do. I didn't no, produce that. Though. No. Oh, okay. No, not Birth of a Nation. The movie where he was in it. Oh, and it was oh the Beyond the Beyond the Lights. Yes, Beyond the yeah. Lights. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, really I didn't. Like I didn't have anything to do with the production of that. Oh, film, okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Movie. I. You know. I know. Shout out to Gina Prince Blythewood. Okay. Yeah. I thought. Uh, I thought you had something to do with it, but I really like that narrative of content. That content, because yeah. it, it, it just was a different, just kind of like insecure. Just talk about something different. For sure, for sure. Always do. But Absolutely. no, we just have to be. We have to be responsible for the, the images that we portray. And and I know for me, it's never been about money. It's just been about telling positive stories mm -hmm. and making my people look good. Well, you, know? you do that yeah. well, and you look good yourself. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being doing your thing. Thank we you appreciate you. Don't forget to check out Datari's new film, A Boy, A Girl, A Dream. All